So now that we've got quite far in our Prezi design, one of the things that can really help is to collaborate with members of your team. So up here on the top right hand corner, you can see the number of collaborators that I currently have. If I just click on that icon and then press total collaborators at the bottom, I can add people in to my presentation. So I'm going to just type in the name of one of our designers here, or sorry, I should say the email address of one of our designers, and I can decide what type of access to give them. So it may be that I don't want them to make any changes, but I'd like their feedback, in which case I'm going to say they can just add comments. It may be that they need to present this presentation, so I'm going to make them a presenter. That means they won't be able to make comments uh, or make any edits. But if I want them to have full control over everything and to be able to present and comment, I can just make them an editor. So if I press the add button, they will now get an email from Prezi that says Russell has invited you to edit the presentation. And that means that we can now leave comments for one another. So if I come out of my collaboration screen here, I might want to click on this section, this topic. And then in the gray bar in the center of the screen, you can see there is an add comment button. If I click on that, I can leave a comment. So let's say, um, can we replace this image? Question mark add that comment. Now, every time you add a comment, an email will be sent to all of the collaborators so that um, everyone knows there is an action that needs to be taken. And you can also add comments in the subtopic areas as well. There's no limit to um, where you can go and add comments. So I may even want to drill down as, as um, close as these individual dates. Click on the dates here and then click on the comment button above. Like so. So it's a really useful way to work together um, to make sure that you have a team working on the presentation at the same time and also making sure that you can control the access and the privileges that people have with regards to editing your presentation.